Take a look at this unequal intersecting pitch roof condition here with the two hips going in between the end king and the king commons here. You can slide these around so that your center line would line up with the convergence of the double cheek cuts here, no problem. Over here though, this is two valleys, four buys, dying into two buys, and the center line has to plane in to the center of the ridge. So you remember the bones of the roof are the hips and valleys and ridges, and the rest just fill and slide that stuff around all you want. But it has to frame like this so the plywood will be correct, as most sheeters know. So you'll see this center line here doesn't line up with the convergence of the double cheek cut. And this is one of these situations where by, I'll do this, it happens a lot depending on what you're doing. Now, this is a equal overhang. So this hip doesn't land or run through the corner, it's offset. And the overhang in this case goes to the outside of fascia. So it's calculated to the outside of fascia and then inch and a half is subtracted afterwards before it's cut out. And the same thing, right? Center line is not lined up with the convergence of the cheek cuts, right? You have to think like this. Sometimes you'll have two valleys landing in the same spot. Sometimes you'll have a hip and a valley landing in the same spot. And so, you have to draw it all out, you know, and then do your deductions. Here's this octagon, I mean hexagon, say, draw it all out, and then you can, after you have it drawn out, calculate what your deductions are gonna be. And sometimes measure the board the full length and then do the deductions on the board before you cut it. So in this situation, the full length would be to here, and the deduction would be inch and a half on this side, inch and a half on this side, but since it's irregular, throws the center line, or that is to say, where the double cheek cuts converge off, off 